Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to look at the IS tank, the Russian Tier 7 Heavy. Now this tank is called the IS tank because it's named after Joseph Stalin. And you then say, well, why is it called IS? Because it's a J. Well, there is no J in the Cyrillic alphabet. So the actual spelling is Iosif Stalin, hence the reason why it's called an IS. But don't ask me why it's not called an IC. But anyway, that's a completely different story. This is actually an extension of the KV series, um, but they were never going to call it KV because KV is named after Clemente Voroshilov. And at this stage in the war, Stalin was absolutely paranoid that people were stealing his thunder. So they called it the IS tank instead. And there it is in all its glory. Now it was produced by the Kirov factory in Leningrad in 1943, but it was quickly replaced by the IS-2, which then went on to see action at the Battle of Berlin. But the IS tank did actually exist and it was sold to other countries around Eastern Europe. Now in Blitz, this tank has quite a bad reputation. So let's have a look at it. I mean, the damage is quite good. Rate of fire is very low. Penetration is not bad. Armor is quite good. Speed, mm, it's not bad for a heavy tank. You know, and it's it's not a bad tank at all. Now, when we get down to the uh, bones of the thing, it's got 1,300 hit points. The armor, as you can see there, is pretty good, 100 and 120 respectively. View range, not too bad. Camo, not great. I mean, its profile is pretty bad. DPM, 1,744 minute, which is quite low. And the reload time, because I've got the big gun in, is just shy of 14 seconds, which is massive. Um, AP, you'll get 184 out of it, uh, penetration. APCR, 228. Average damage, you get 400 with the AP and 340 with the APCR and 500 with its HE. Aim time is quite a long six and a half seconds. Gun depression is a measly six degrees, but look at the whopping elevation on this thing, 25 degrees. I mean, that is massive. Uh, what about maneuverability? Well, for a heavy tank, it's not that slow. I mean, you, it's 34 top speed going forwards, 14 going backwards, with an average speed of about 31. It is a very heavy tank. I mean, the power to weight ratio is not too bad, and its weight is just shy of 50 tons to, in, in all respects. So what is it about this tank that people don't seem to like? And trust me, people really don't seem to like this tank. They hate grinding it. And it, it leads on to the IS-3, which then eventually leads you all the way up to the IS-7. Now, it comes with three guns, and I'm only going to show you replays with the top gun loaded. Here is its armor profile. As you can see, it's not too bad. And don't forget, this is a tier 7 tank. It's, it's a good side scraper. It actually is a good size scraper, and as you can see here, there are these cheeks of the turret which are pretty open and that lower plate. But if you wiggle the turret around, if you notice, look, it sort of goes red and it's very difficult to pen. So this is a tank that you need to keep sort of hauled down. Now, I've got it here facing off against a Tiger 1, which it'll come across, you know, quite often. So you can see what you need to do. What's it like actually to play this thing? Well, I'll be honest with you, I think this tank is very underrated. It's not as bad as people make out. It's, it's no different in real terms to the KV-1 and the KV-1S. Um, you've got a Russian gunner. <laughs> I don't know where that HE round went. It sort of did a banana around the building. But, you know, it's got very good armor. And, you know, okay, once you've loaded and once you've waited for that aim time to go down, on the main gun, you're dishing out quite a lot of hurt. That's why I like this tank. But it's not a tank that you can stick out in the front, guys, because the, the aim time and the load time is just going to absolutely muller you. And that's the problem with it. That's its biggest downside. But if you understand this and you understand that, you know, it's got a great armor profile, and it really has, if you understand its angles now to wiggle it and jiggle it and turn it, then there is no reason why you cannot get on with this thing. Okay, some tanks at tier 8, it's pretty difficult to pen them. Uh, and, you know, each, that Najhorn has just hit me in the lower plate. The lower plate is very, very vulnerable. 
and on Himmelsdorf it's very difficult to get into a hold down position unless you're on these sort of sidey sort of building rubble parts but like I said it's got a good gun with good penetration it will dish out quite a nice amount of damage I mean I'm already up to 1120 uh, damage here I bounced nothing yet it, it's difficult to pen in some respects switch it to the APCR but the AT8 took him out anyway now this is the thing about this tank if you can utilize the surroundings like I'm going to do here then you can frontline it now this poor KV3 um, he's difficult to pen for me but on the same token I'm also difficult to pen for him so watch this I, I, I was trying to get him first but no so I look at the KV3 now I can smack him in the lower plate because I can't hit his turret then I can go back into cover my turret is strong um, I'm sort of angling it away from him I'm not aiming on him fully until I'm ready I'm now I'm ready I'm gonna pop around the corner smack him in the lower plate again because that's the weakest part of the KV3 for me and I'm now up to over 2,000 damage um, I'm gonna give him a bit of a ram see if I can kill him no in fact he hurts me more than I hurt him <laughs> that's just the way it works so I've capped a base I haven't taken any kills I've done 2,000 damage I've bounced nothing um, but so far I've had a good game and I've only lost a few of my hit points despite the fact that there were a lot of tanks around me a moment ago so now I'm going to pop around this corner there is a Panzer IV Schmelzen let's see if we can smack him we should be able to yep we smack him and track him at the same time knock another 400 so we're now up to 2430 odd damage um, I'm going to angle away from him he's going to bounce me and I'm now going to smack him again in the side and get rid of him so that's 2525 damage it's not a lot of damage with the big gun in the IS to be perfectly honest with you there's no way I'm going to get to that SU-100 Y in time not when there's a Tiger P up there already but I'm going to give it a good go all in all a mediocre game but it shows the versus what you can do in an IS and you know you can get some good damage in this tank you really really can and you've got to you know aim for that we get a nice second class and a load of ribbons and we were the top tank I'm only going to show you three games all of which I played yesterday morning and unfortunately none of them are masteries but that's just the way it rolls guys I mean I, I, I did what I could I don't know what the ace is set at at the moment but it's clearly higher than what I can do in this tank over about 10 games so this is us on Normandy and we're going to roll up here and there's an ARL 44 he is a tier 6 he's not going to give me any troubles realistically pop up look at that he's all wide open I can smack 348 into him now it's only got six degrees of gun depression which isn't great in fact it's pretty bad but it's enough in certain quarters so you can use that gun depression sometimes so I'm going to try and get around here and smack the ARL again oh uh, no Russian gunner he decided that uh Wow, Russian gun, Russian gunner. Sometimes they go where you want them to, sometimes they go nowhere near where you want them to go. <laughs> it's just the way Russian tanks work, I'm afraid. But you can still have fun in this thing. You know, there's another Tiger P. We can smack his lower plate because we know that's pretty vulnerable. 400 and something there. We're now up to what? 700 on damage. We've only fired two shots. Well, we've fired three shots, but one of them went, God knows where it went, but one of them went somewhere. Maybe now we can smack the Tiger P again up the backside. Yes, we can. We're now up to a thousand one hundred and something damage. We've uh, we've taken one kill finally. We've been on the front line realistically. Now we're going to look at this T20. I'm going to pop over and oh, he's going to give me the run around, which is really annoying. <laughs> he's going to kill the LTTB. I'm not going to chase him round in circles. I'm not going to stick one up his backside. I track him, but uh, there was nobody around to kill him. Do I want to kill him, or is the other guy? I, I mean, I don't want to waste a shot on him, to be fair. But I may have no choice. Uh, no, that's okay. I don't have to waste a shot. Because he's on next to nothing hit points. I mean, I could have shot him. Um, I could have chased him down. But I would have lost my 500 there roll on the M6. Now, the M6 has got a good gun, and he's going to hurt me. No matter how many times I try to angle or jingle or jangle or whatever. But I know that I've got more damage coming out of my gun than coming out of his. He is not going to wipe me out. I am not a one or a two or a three shot to him. I'm a four shot, five shot to him. So I've got enough time to sit here and plow pain into him. 
without too much problems. And there we go. So we do 2,600 and something damage. We get two kills, and we are pretty active in that one. And we get a second class. We get some good credits as well. And we're the top tier again. Okay, so I lied. I said there were three games. It's actually four. I forgot about this one on Mayan Ruins. So we're going to go up here. Um, not a great spot for an IS with its gun depression, but not too bad if tanks are above you with its elevation. However, like I said earlier, even though you've only got six degrees, sometimes it's just about enough. Uh, can I get the KV-2? Yes, I can. 397 into the side of a KV-2. That's always nice. So hopefully that's alerted them to where we are so they may start popping around the corner. Oh, there's another IS. Um, get over to him. Get this back. No. Russian gunner! <laughs> it's always the first or second shot that sort of goes into the back of nowhere. And I was, you know, I was obviously being um, dated harshly there by a KB2 on my team. And I bounce the T34 1, the IS gets me, and I bounce the IS. Or, well, I may have bounced, I don't know, actually. So, so far, we've not done anything to set any records. We've done just shy of 400 damage, we've bounced 230. Now I'm going to smack this T34 1. So now we've done 624 damage, I think that says. We've just got to sit back because the load time is a killer. I mean, you've got almost 14 seconds um, and there's no point sticking your nose out if you're not loaded. There really isn't. Maybe now I can get this IS. Yes, I can. 400 old roll into him. Now done 1,225 damage. There's still only about 200 odd. I'm now sat here thinking, am I going to be able to get anything? Uh, can I get anything on you? Yes, I can. Another 450 odd roll. Now done 1,600, still only bounced 250, not killed anything, but I've been whittling these hit points down, which is the idea with an IS. Now, the IS, the, the play style of the, the IS tank, isn't, well, I've just overexerted that, um, forgetting completely that I had only six degrees of gun depression. As I was saying, the gameplay of an IS is, realistically, you've got to be a sort of second line tank. You're there to whittle down the enemy's hit points and to use your hit points. If you frontline it, then you, the chances are you're going to get hurt, guys, because your reload time, is, if you've got the big gun, is just too long. Now, you could stick in the lower gun. Obviously, you're not going to do as much damage, but your reload's going to come down. But that sort of defeats the object of the game, really. Well, not the game. It defeats the object of the IS because... The reason it's got this big gun, and it has got a derpy gun for a, for a tier 7, is to play that support role. You're not meant to be on the front line as such. You are meant to be whittling down the enemy tanks. It's like a TD role, but not in a TD position. So, well, I mean, look at that. I mean, God knows what these guys are doing. They're plowing into me. You know what? You can't see the big IS tank? Not to worry. So I've killed nothing so far. I've done 2,100 and something damage. I've bounced 300 and something damage. I've been pretty active, but I've killed nothing. But I've done, I've taken 2,000 HP away from the enemy. And that's what you need to focus on with an IS. It's not always about killing tanks, guys. It's about taking all the hit points away with that big derpy gun, if you've got the big derpy gun, to allow your teammates to then finish them all off. Now I'm going to roll up here, there's a KV-2, smack him in the back, and I finally get a kill. That's only 2,241 damage. That's not bad. I mean, I'll take that, I get another second class, I get a shed load more credits, and I'm happy with the game, to be perfectly frank with you. I, uh, you know, as long as I keep getting these good damage rolls and we keep winning the game, then I'm very happy. Now this is the last game. Now I rolled out, this was the first game I played yesterday morning, and a good friend of mine, Tango Alpha, is on my team he's rolling out and it would have been very early for him because i'm three hours ahead of him um and we're, here we are we're on middleburg and i know they're capping the a cap and i haven't even bothered with the caps i know they're also up at the c point because i can see that on the mini map so i know there's something big down here and it's probably a kv2 but i'm still waiting i'm in a side scraping position it is a kv2 he's not seen me can i get him yes i can i smack him for 472 and he's tracked. Now my friend Tango Alpha is going to go in and try and get the kill. Unfortunately, he leaves him on next to no hit point and the KB2 manages to load up and 
basically stick one into Tango Alpha, which was damned unlucky. There's an Audi TP, and that is a fantastic shot in an IS on the move, even though I do say so myself. My Russian gunner was obviously very awake yesterday morning. Now, I'm not going to bother with the KV-2. I'm going to bother with the Audi TP. He's actually a bigger pain for me at the moment. My other teammates can deal with the KV-2 because he's, he's a one-shot to everybody. Now I don't really want to bother with the LTTB anymore. I just want to keep him in line. Maybe I can stick a shot into him. No, I can't, so what's the point? There's no point even trying it now. It's just a waste of my damage potential, uh, to be honest with you. So there's no point. I'll let somebody else deal with him. And there we go. So, it's now three against two. Uh, here comes the SU-100Y, smack one into him, get a nice 500 roll. Now I'm going to side scrape off this building. They now know where I am. My teammate is capped A. The SU-100Y is going to go after him. I know there's a Tiger and an ARL-44 out there somewhere. I've done, what, 1800 damage. I've killed nothing. And here comes the Tiger P. He's not focused on me. Stick one into his lower plate. 358. There's the ARL. Still back away. Oh, the ARL misses badly. Uh, my teammate is still tussing with the SU-100. Can I kill the ARL? E no, I can't because he gets behind. No point in me trying to snapshot him. So I'll give the Tiger P a smack instead. Oh, the SU is gone, but so is my teammate. So now it's me against the Tiger P, which is one shot and an ARL, which is also a uh, realistic one shot. The Tiger P gets one into me. Now I need to wiggle and jiggle to stop this ARL from killing me. And there we go. We bounce. Mm, there we, it was not too bad. Now I can push on him. Hopefully I can get one into him before he reloads. Oh no. But he bounces anyway. And we end up with just over 3,000 damage. We bounce 450. We didn't take any bases. We took two kills. And we win the game and get a nice first class and a shed load of credits. That's why I like the IS. Because I think if it's a great tank in the right position, if you know its quirks, and you understand its mechanics, boy, you can have some good fun in this tank, and boy, you can be a nightmare on the battlefield. However, with the big gun in, guys, it's a tricky tank. So get used to that long reload, that long aim time, and make sure you use the terrain around you and get into cover, haul down as much as you can whilst you're reloading. Anyway, I have been Fujit. That has been the IS. Um, I did it because somebody mentioned on the EU forum that they were struggling with the IS. And, and somebody mentioned to me the other day that, you know, there's not many reviews and things out there on these sort of tanks. So I thought, wow, sod it, I might as well do one. So that's been the IS, as I said. By all means, comment, like, and all the other jazz below. If you haven't yet, press subscribe. Why not? It costs you nothing. Nice thing to do. It puts a smile on my face. Uh, if you have if you have got any decent replays, by all means send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or come and join my Discord server where you can upload them much easier. And with that, I'll say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because you know, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.